morning, guys. Good morning. Today is. <laughs> oh, no, the sign just fell. <laughs> we'll fix it. We'll fix it. Today is terrific throwback Thursday. And you know why it's throwback Thursday? The temperatures are cool and. Yes. Apples rule. Apples do rule. Apples rule. And you are here sporting your new t shirt, your new Welcome to Ella J. Dwight Sanford, Mr. Ella J. t shirt. Now, I love this. And Tim, you can just slide in there because yeah, we want, it, we want people to see you. We want y'all to know that behind the scenes to create <laughs> the Sherry Show, the Mr. Ella J. Show, Heart of the Home, is a young man. His name is Tim Christensen. And Dwight, take it away. Could we do without him? Oh no, him and Donovan and Trace, they're so magical. Can you see us running this show? <laughs> <laughs> that would be funny. Yeah. You could do the audio, I could not do the video. Uh, We'd be in trouble. Probably so, We'd yeah. be in trouble. I know We'd, I would be, yeah. We'd be in trouble. Without our boys, we'd be in trouble, trouble, trouble. This has been a busy week, and sadly it started last Friday when we did a small tribute to Danny Hensley. And we want to share today, um, we talked about it. I went by the funeral home um, Sunday morning. I was so sick on Saturday, I was afraid if I walked in there coughing and hacking like I was, people would think I was contagious. And I don't think I was contagious because I was around people. But this is, this is, um, this is a man who is responsible for everything that happened here at ETC. You knew him as a child. We talked about that Friday. Um, does this seem real to you yet? No. No, it hasn't hasn't dawned on me just yet. It's so he's so young. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. He was a child, but you were a child driving a school bus when you first met him too. So yeah. it goes back a long, long way, a long history and ETC was uh, blessed to have Danny Hensley with this company for thirty three years. The really, really sad thing is that he and Dawn had built a life, lived a life, enjoyed a life together, and we have to say all the prayers we can for her to get her through this because um, Danny's fine. He's in heaven celebrating with Jesus and um, probably saw your mama and said, I know your, your son, reckon? I bet so. <laughs> I bet so. I bet so. But again, please say a prayer for Dawn and the family, the grandkids, the, um, the kids. It is, uh, it's a tough time. It's a tough time. He was too young. He's gone too soon, but it is all in God's perfect plan. And uh, when I saw that Mitchell Pack was going to do part of the service, I just such sweet, sweet memories of Mitchell. I love him to death. And uh, he came to my home and did a heart of the home with his wife, Katie's black walnut cake recipe. Do you like black walnuts? Yes, I do. Well, they make a terrific pound cake but you don't eat sweets, so that'd be hard to get you to eat a terrific black walnut pound cake, wouldn't it? Yeah. Yeah. All right, today, the apples do rule. If I said, what song out of all the songs you've written is the most important to you to get the word out about the town you grew up in, what song would you choose? It'd be called Welcome to Ella J. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And when you wrote that, did you think about 200,000 people would be going, oh, that's a snappy little tune? I think when I wrote that, I don't, we didn't have Facebook. Because <laughs> it was how many years ago? It was 92. 1992, we barely had electricity. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, and I didn't, so. Yeah, no, yeah. I'm kidding, I'm kidding. Yeah, 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 you did have electricity. <laughs> Okay, 1992, you write it, you're thinking about it. Did you edit it? Did you change it? Is there anything about it you would do differently? No, I think it's nailed. And did the music come easier or the words come easier? They both come pretty tough. Uh, you just have to keep working on it until you get it like you want it and not listen to people. Because people will say, oh, that's fine. Leave it alone. It's, it's fine. Yeah. You're going to screw it up. It's fine. <laughs> yeah. I'll let you know when it's fine. <laughs> and he does that. Yeah. Because you do go back and you edit, you listen, you re-listen. Mm -hmm. I saw that when we did a segment at 57 Heaven that we're going to do. And I hope I chose the right version because you did a song twice. One guy said, Leave it alone where it's at, it's good. <clears throat> You're gonna ruin it. Listen, I'm the creator, 
I brought it to where it is. Yeah. Let me take it to where it needs to be. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. Did you do every instrument on that one or did you bring in some help? Except for Lady Astrid, I did every sound you hear. That is, that is what is so, now that I've seen how you do it though, one instrument at a time, then you combine it, you marry it. Is that what you called it? You get it It's together. called multi-tracking, but yeah. Yeah, yeah. You Something like that. Get them together and then you <clears throat> tweak it one more time and no, then. No, 10,000 10, more, 10, more times. 10,000 yeah. more times, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, and then you get it right and then you send it to these dudes in California? Yes, I do. And? It's a master house out there. They do my mastering for me. And how did you find them? Internet? I don't remember. I've been with them forever. Yeah, yeah. But Probably they, the internet, I guess. I don't know. And, and they magically send it right back to you. And this is all done without mailing it or mm -hmm. without anything. You just mm -hmm. transfer files. I send a check mark and then they send it to Nashville. Isn't that crazy? I know. Isn't that crazy? Now that's, yeah. just, that's just weird, y'all. In today's world, used to, we overnighted it somewhere uh -huh. and UPS, they had to sign for it or yep. the postal service. And now you just transfer it through files. Yes. Now you were explaining wiring to me and I know nothing. I know what an extension cord is and that's about it. But you use a certain kind of cables to transfer. Oh, well, yeah. And they're, they've been around forever, but they're very reliable and, uh, you know, Actually, these cameras here have the very connector on it. Called? So, XLR connectors. What does that stand for? I'm not sure. I was thinking about that. I used to know that. Duh. Where'd you put it in your brain? I got old. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Yeah. That is a scary thought. Okay. Everybody's Googling right now. What does XLR stand for? Yeah, yeah. I'll do the same thing when we get off yes. air. <laughs> yes, you will. Yes, you will. <laughs> Well, we've had some precious comments, and today Trey said uh, one of his aunts wants one of your CDs, and I listened to it yesterday, and I was coming up 108. I had to go to Alaska. External line control. External line control. No. No. Line <laughs> return. External line return. Okay, now we know. <laughs> now we know. Now we know. Okay, when you, I was coming up 108 yesterday and I put in welcome to LJ. And I said, I can't wait to see how many people reply and say, you weren't in LJ, I was in Waleska. But I put in your CD and I did a video. And mm -hmm. I thought, last time I did it, I was on Boardtown Road. And I can say, you can't drive Boardtown Road and video. Did you say can't? Can't. I thought that's what you said. <laughs> Or was I supposed to say can't? <laughs> Only if you're saying can't in Georgia. <laughs> oh, yeah, 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 yeah. But anyway, yesterday when I did this video, not one person has said, that's not Ella J. So I fooled folks, but I was on 108 coming out of Alaska in a shady area, and it was just beautiful. And I thought, I'm going to convince people that I'm in Ella J. Nobody even questioned that I was in Ella J. So get out on the roads, the Waleska roads, the Salicoa Valley roads, the Fairmount roads, and oh, play yeah. this song. You don't have to just play this song in L.J. The surrounding areas around here, there's a lot of pretty, over toward Dawsonville, there's some beautiful roads. Oh, yes, and, and let me tell you, Odom Chumley closed yesterday. All right, then. And you are invited. So do I get my commission now? Yes, yes. Oh, no, I didn't have <laughs> one, I'm sorry. <laughs> you yeah. are invited to sit over there. He can't wait to meet you and have you sitting on that little bridge by the outdoor kitchen, strumming that guitar. Dwight, where's the guitar today? It's in the Yukon. Oh. I shouldn't have said that either, should I? <laughs> yeah, you should. You should go out there and get it. <laughs> you know, y'all, they just said you just messed up. So yeah. we do have some music of his today that we're going to feature. And one of the things we really want to feature, because the temperatures are cool and apples rule, tourism in Gilmer County, would you say it's about 85% of the money that comes into the county is from tourism? I bet it is. Yeah. Yeah, except for the poultry industry. And what other industry is here that really brings in a bunch of money? Yeah, I know. A cable company named ETC. That's right. Can, can we do a little shout out to people who are just visiting? This is local television. 
talking about local things. And we're going to have something on here and as soon as we do this song that was actually done this morning at the courthouse. Do you know what that means about local TV? We have access to local stuff. Yes, we do. Actually, I went to school with the, with the people who own ETC. Wow. They're local folks. Yeah, yeah. And they're good folks. Yeah. And they, they provide cable TV, security, what all is it? The uh, best Wi-Fi <clears throat> on wi the market. Yes. They have worked so hard to get their Wi-Fi on top of the game. And you call the office, you get a problem, you call the office and somebody picks up the phone and says hello. Right, right. That other company, and I'll not name names, I had to call <laughs> Minnesota one time and sit on hold forever for an elderly person who couldn't get through to them. And that so. person that picks up the phone and says hello, you know them. Yeah. You went to school with them too. Yeah, yeah. Or yeah. they rode your bus. Yeah, they rode my bus, yeah. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Well, we're going to go now to this song. This is this is called Welcome to LJ, and we hope that it will encourage you Who wrote to that song? Mr. LJ, Dwight Sanford wrote that song. Now, until four months ago, you were just Dwight Sanford. But then somebody said, well, you ought to be Mr. LJ, and the rest is history. And you have a tag on a card that we're going to show some photos of. We have t-shirts to prove it. We have t-shirts to prove it. Don't Once you get a t-shirt, it's official. It's official. It's yeah, official. It's done. Yeah, when we come back from this song, we want to share a little bit of the plaque unveiling that happened at the courthouse this morning. Do I you came by, that? I came around the roundabout while they were filming it. Yeah, there you go. That's I local sure TV. Did. So here we go to Welcome to Elegy. I didn't blow the horn either. <laughs> Good boy. How y'all doing out there? Welcome to Elegy. That's with a J. About 90 miles north of Atlanta, where the Kusawati lay. They come out of the hills to pay their telephone bills in a town called Illajay. When the mayor drove a shiny 62 Corvette, Slim was in a cruiser with a Cobra jet. What you see is exactly what you get. If you come to Ella J, hey, Ella J, a mighty fine place to be. Ella J, Ella J, good enough for you and me. Yeah. Apple blossom, baby, possum, muscadine wine. Leave all your troubles at the welcome. A town called Ella J. How you like them
Yay, how cool is that? Welcome to <coughs> Ella J. Welcome to Ella J. Now, now, we're gonna do what ETC has the ability to do. We can go out to the courthouse square and we can have it on TV within 30 minutes. So here you go. This is a plaque unveiling that was done this morning at the courthouse, so take it away, guys. Thousand one hundred Georgia daughters and one hundred and fifteen chapters across our great state. I bring you greetings. We are thrilled to be here and just want to congratulate the James Kell chapter so much on this marker. Thank you for coming today. I also would like to thank the James Kell chapter of the DAR um, for what they've done today and for what they have done. Uh, historically here. It's an honor to be here today, and I'm glad that we are now working with the Captain James Kell Society, or chapter of the Daughters of the American Revolution. Today we come together to honor the lives of these patriots whose heroic sacrifices and service to our country advance the cause of independence. Okay, now you understand why yeah, live, TV, what doing now. <clears throat> live TV, local television, local sports, local commercials, that's why ETC has been in business over 100 years. That was before you and I were either one born. Can you imagine that? Both of us? Yeah. <laughs> I knew he was going to throw that in. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, let's talk a little bit about something that you are, I can tell today your mind is on motors. Your mind is on headers, your mind is on. No, I got all that straightened you out. You got it all fixed. Yeah, it's all done now. Okay, 57 Heaven. I was allowed to make the third video of 57 Heaven, and we're gonna show you. I still you. say it was the second video, but. Y'all, I'm worried about him. Yeah. I'm just worried, I'm just worried. They just I'm, say I'm getting worse every yeah, time. I, yeah, you're getting worse. Yeah. We're gonna share some photos, and I'm gonna let Dwight explain the photos. So Donovan, can you pull them up, and you tell folks what they're seeing. Okay. If I know. Here we go. <laughs> uh, yeah. No. What you're seeing here is myself. We froze. <clears throat> That's, here you go. Yeah. Okay, what is that? That's a 57 Ford Custom 300. That belongs to Mr. Ella J. And her name is? Candy Cane. You know why? Because she looks like a peppermint stick. She does. She does. Good little car. Good driver. Real good car. Used to belong to my good old friend. Uh, Stan Childers. That is so sweet. That is so sweet. I know. And uh, and what is this? Right there, so it's a chassis for a 57 Ford Fairlane Club Sedan. All you experts will know what I'm talking about, but it's not a 500. It's not a hard top. It's a post car. And it's, uh, it's got that 390 high performance right there sitting in it. We put it in just the other day. Waiting on a part to make it Sit, sit down just right. And, and for uh, folks who don't know, what's behind it? A C6 transmission, automatic <coughs> transmission. Automatic. <clears throat> yeah, we're going to uh, need another cross member. I figured so, but anyway, it's holding it up till we can get it anyway. And uh, that's a screamer. That motor there is a screamer. It'll it'll go. And as you look at that, how many hours, Dwight, do you think you've got in that build so far? Heaven knows. <laughs> there is no telling. There is no telling. <laughs> I've really started from the ground up and uh, getting it done. Getting it done. Getting it done. Yep. And it will get chrome valve covers? Yep. It's going to get chrome GT valve covers. I've got some, but they don't look so good. I'm going to order new ones. And it's going to get a... a I think it's a 750 dual line, dual pumper Holly. I think, I'm not sure, but I think that's what's going on it. 
And uh, <clears throat> as I've said before, that's stiff competition for the 66 Super Sport right oh, there. Man. I know that's sad to say, but that's it is. Sad. It's that's yeah. a screamer right yeah. there. It's gonna yeah. haul it. Yeah. Well, Not with me driving it, but it, it'll be there <laughs> if you want it. Yeah, 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 yeah. Well, let's talk a little bit about drivers again because we and I love that. Love that shirt. That is such a cool shirt. Love it, love it, love it, love it, love it. It looks great. And uh, I take it you like this shirt. <laughs> yeah, people mention all the time when they see 57 Heaven, they said, Is his shop always clean? I said, Are you kidding me? It belongs to him. Yes, it's always clean. We try to keep it pretty <coughs> clean. Pretty we try clean. To keep it, we try to keep it pretty Listen, clean. Uh, yeah, go ahead. Northside Hospital could can operate in that place. It's so clean. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so if you walk in one day and there's a gurney in there and they're operating. Yeah. We could do <laughs> surgery in there. <laughs> we could. Yeah. Okay. The next steps on this car would be? Any day the mystery guy is going to have the uh, body. He's almost there right now. He's sanding and blocking on it some right now. The underside is done. <clears throat> the uh, we got doors. My friend up in Pennsylvania sent me some doors for this car. If it wasn't for that guy, we wouldn't even have a fire line. I couldn't find doors anywhere, and he had some, and he sent them to me. How would he send them? Yeah, he, freight. Oh, I started to <laughs> yeah. say you, you can't yeah. mail them. <laughs> you send them freight. His wow. name is Chris Sandon, good friend of mine up in Pennsylvania. You'll be watching on Facebook. And what are the odds of him finding doors? He didn't. He had them. Oh, oh, yep. okay, okay. We done some trading. The freight was uh, cost more than the, any of the parts, but we had to have them. You can't fix a car without doors. Yeah. Okay. One thing I always say is you cannot <laughs> restore a 57 Ford if you don't have one. That's right. You or, can't write songs called Welcome to Ella J if you don't know how. <laughs> Donovan says you can drive a Jeep without doors. <laughs> you couldn't drive a Fairlane without doors. Donovan wants yeah. you to try it. Yeah. We got some comedians in the control room this morning as well. Yeah. Can you give a <laughs> shout out and some credit to people who've made this happen for that car? Tell me beginning There's so end. many. Yeah. Seriously, folks, when, when you're doing a car like this, you've got to have so much help from so many people. Glenn Arnold answers lots of questions. Ronnie Harrington, he's the heartbeat of it all. He builds the engines, mm -hmm. does it all. Uh, and they just know stuff. You know, you run up on something and you don't know what to do about that. Well, you call these guys and they know what to do because they've done it. Mm -hmm. And that's very, very handy to have. I know a little, I know enough to be dangerous, and I'm very annoying to those who do know. <laughs> I love that. <laughs> but, but we have fun and we get things done. Absolutely. That's my saying. It is your saying. That's you? how I tell it. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. In other words, that's to hear me tell it. Now, we in the 57 Heaven third video that was done. We if you did, say so. Yes, we did show a little bit of the interior of the gray car. And does it, it doesn't have a name yet, does it? Yeah. What's its well, name? it had a name, but I'm not sure now. Okay. It was cause his name was Little Boy. Okay. And that but is. But he ain't little no more. You got him a big V8 <laughs> engine too. Yeah. So yeah. I don't know what we're gonna do now. But we showed a little bit of the interior. Yeah. And you. All original. Yeah. Yeah. You did a lot of this work yourself, and you crawl in, you crawl out, mm -hmm. you do this, you do this. So there are parts of the component that you are responsible for. I so. do a lot, yeah. I don't like to try to take credit. I mean, these guys, they help a lot. But, I, and you know, I do a lot. I, I'm under it, and I'm greasy, and I'm getting things done myself. I put the interior back Nicety in. is the word. Yeah, nicety. Nicety. <laughs> nicety. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. I put the interior back in, uh, little boy, and uh, I'm almost finished with that. I have to hold up some because... You don't want the front seat and the steering wheel in just yet because we've got to do a lot of wallering. You all know what wallering is? We're going to waller in the floorboard while we're mm -hmm. working under the dash, getting mm -hmm. all that stuff mm -hmm. done. It's going to be pretty. It is going to be. It's a cheap thing, though. It's an old cheap body style. It's just not much money at all. Uh-huh. Yeah, I hear you. Well, let me ask you something. Last week, you were part of something that you've never done before. We did a commercial at your property, and we did a cooking segment at your property. Yes, we did. Were you surprised how that all comes together? 
Yeah, in the end, I was, start, I was starting to say, yeah, so it works like that. But yeah, during the process, I was like Kermit the Frog. I was, <laughs> yeah, you know. yeah, it was weird. <clears throat> I guess that was unnecessary. You Sorry. have to prep to cook. And prepping means that you start. I don't do a lot of prepping when I cook. <laughs> no, he doesn't. You see this logo? I fry eggs. <laughs> About 16 years ago, a lady named Mary Livesey did this logo. And this is the Heart of the Home logo. And then another friend up in Ella J did this in pottery and cast ironed it for or cast ironed it and did it pottery and fired it, kiln firing it for me. <clears throat> it hangs in my kitchen where I love it. And then this, my first director of Heart of the Home, showed up. She went shopping in Ella J and she brought me these. And I said, Lori, you've been around me long enough to know that I don't measure. Now you've eaten a bunch of my cooking. I don't measure. Do I usually get it right? Yeah. Yeah, you nail it. Pretty close. Yeah. And I said I'm going to share some recipes with people but I don't have recipes. But Dwight, will you hand me the pear relish? Because somebody asked me, how do you make pear relish? And I pear. said, pear. That's pear relish. Uh, yeah, from Chatsworth. Can we tell your cousin, you thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. The pears oh, yeah. came from Chatsworth, or we don't know really where They're they came They're very from. unfortunate in Chatsworth to not have ETC, so she won't see us. But you might watch us on Facebook. Or on YouTube. My little cousin, Jane, uh, gave us a bunch of pears. Bunch of pears. Big pears. Big pears. Okay, this is vinegar. She gave us some before that, too, Yes, remember? yes, yeah. yes, There's the first batch. That. This is the first yeah. batch. Sugar, vinegar, spices, onions, peppers, and you go to cooking. But I have a recipe in my cookbook, and, and I shared it on Facebook, so go buy the recipe. That doesn't mean that I measure when I'm cooking because I've done it long enough that I throw a little of this in, a little of that in. So there's the pear relish. Put that back, please. Yep. And if you don't mind, we're going to show some cooking pictures from when we did Heart of the Home at your beautiful home. Up on the uh, top lot? Yes, and your mama's beautiful table that I absolutely yeah. am in love with. and the Oh, okra, there it is. Yeah, there it is now. The okra compliments of Glenn and Sue Dinsmore from Ball Ground that love you to death. They just think you are the coolest dude ever. Now, will you explain my That's stove? That's okay. Is that my stove? That's your stove. Now, tell me yeah. about that stove. Tell folks about it. It is the front wheels off of a uh, Freightliner school bus. <laughs> is that not the coolest thing and ever? And we welded them together and made a little door. You yeah. can't see the door from where we are here, but it's on the other side. Donovan you go said ahead. you might be a redneck. <laughs> yeah, I know. <laughs> okay, What's the ahead. energy in the control room today, guys? <laughs> we love it. <laughs> Keep it coming. Good. Keep They're it coming. Great. Okay. We got three guys in there that are great. Tim, yeah. Donovan, and Trace. Look at that iron skillet. I know. Can you name everything that's in it? Well, there were rutabagas. Mm. No? Mm -mm. No rutabagas. Mm -mm. I see okra, and I can't see it hardly. <laughs> there it is. Tell them about fish, that. Fish, the fish. It was good. <laughs> it was and, good. And uh, we had okra and... Uh, and some, uh, Lord, I can't even remember. I, I, I know the words to a thousand songs. <laughs> and, I, Look at what you ate. and I know what happened 50, uh, 30 or 40 years ago, but I can't tell you what happened uh, Who is yesterday. That boy right there. <clears throat> yeah, it's, it's Tim and uh, M.E. Yeah, we couldn't do it without Tim. I know. Okay, now. There's the shot. That is the real estate shot of the century because yeah. everybody wants to own a little piece of these mountains. Uh -huh. Everybody wants to come and visit. And you said, the smartest line I ever said was about, if you've only seen downtown Ella J, you have not seen Ella J. That's a fact. This is what people need to see. And so we It don't show up real good in the picture mm -mm. on camera there, but that's grassy mountain in the background and, and it is breathtaking. It's pretty. It is beautiful. It is beautiful. 
and it's one of those things when somebody calls and says, I'm looking for a home in LJ. Can't have this one. Can't have that one. <laughs> we have a home for sale. It is at the corner of 52 and th it's at 30 Redbird Lane and it is a beautiful home where we shot Heart of the Home. So if you liked a little bit of that kitchen, you need to pick up the phone and call me because the home is available. It has, describe those two porches, two of the best. Yeah. You like the front porch? They're wood. Does that describe them? You like the front porch <laughs> because of the sunset, sunrise. Is that kind of? No, the back porch is sunrise. Back. They're laughing in there. <laughs> you didn't know they were wood, did you? <laughs> Dr. <Donovan laughs> said the same thing. <laughs> They're wood porches, folks. So the sun rises on the back porch. Yeah, and it sets in the uh, west, which you'll be looking at from the front porch. And it is on the market for $299,799. Pick up the phone and call me or Evelyn, and we will sell you something so close to Fort Mountain State Park. Yes. Tell folks the best things about Fort Mountain State Park. Be careful about going up there. Because you might run into me walking. <laughs> yeah. Around yeah. the lake. In and around the lake. There's a song that says that. There is. Yeah. There is. Yeah. And what what else can people do at Fort Mountain? Do people fish? Gosh, yeah. Fishing, boating, lots of trails to hike on. And you can bite off more and you can chew if you ain't careful on some of them trails because they're long. Some of them are. And you'll need to bring some sandwiches. But, uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, there's, uh, there's all kinds of, there's a, well, there's a, there's a playground for the children and uh, slides and swings and everything you can imagine up there. So truly a place to take your family. Yeah, and it's always, literally the temperature is cooler there, folks. It's a fine place to go. And it's real hot downtown and it's really hurting. Go up there and it'll be 15 degrees cooler. Wow. I mean it. And from downtown LJ, how many miles is it to Fort Mountain, to the state park? Maybe? Eight. Okay. No, 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 no. It's more than that. Like 11? Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So if they're downtown having lunch, the perfect idea would be have lunch and then go up to the mountain and yeah. take a walk. Yes. Sit and reflect. Yes. Or take, some take your lunch. Take your lunch. There's mm -hmm. picnic tables everywhere. Beautiful views. You can go up there. and I go all the time. You're liable to see me there any day. How can you work as hard as you work and go to Fort Mountain daily? Because I live close. He does. I just run right up there <laughs> he does. and do my walking and I come right back. He does. Unless, unless, if I sneak over to Chatsworth and eat at the village. <laughs> That's right. You can find me in there pretty often too. Yeah, you can. Okay, when you were at 57 Heaven in your element, you did a couple of songs and we're going to share one now. Can you talk about Baby It's You? Baby It's You is by the Beatles, and I love anything the Beatles do. This is John Lennon at the microphone, and it's just such a good song. Everybody in the world has recorded that song, but nobody did it like the Beatles, including me. <laughs> no, you didn't even do it as good as the Beatles, but you, you nailed it on your... Well, it's pretty good for sitting in front of a 390 GT at 57 Heaven. That's right. And I said, that was the coolest thing to me. I had a shot of this man and his guitar, and next to him was the hottest engine ever. So yeah. I'm kind of I'm concentrating on the engine, and he's singing Yeah, that engine's had some stuff done to it. He's going to honk. <laughs> yeah, it has. And again, thank you to uh, engine builders all around, and, and they are a dying breed. You know, it's you can't yeah. pick up the phone and call 10 and talk to 10 different engine builders. If you find two or three, you're lucky, right? Yes. There you go. All that right, really man. know, I mean, that are good. You know, good. that Ronnie Harrington is good. He's built engines for everybody. He took over for Vic Davis, I think. I just said that. I and Larry know. Davis used to build engines, remember? If Vic was the engine guy. Larry made them run right. Oh, okay. Okay. <laughs> yeah. All right. Yeah. Well, here's something that runs right. It's Baby It's You by the Beatles, performed by Mr. Ella J. It's me. I 
you're in the mood for chicken strips, a delicious burger, our classic banana split, or an upside down thick blizzard treat, we've got you covered. Hot and fresh food every day, every time. And delicious DQ soft serve make the perfect pair at your favorite place. Not fast food, fan food fast. Your Blue Ridge, Ella J, and Jasper Dairy Queens are your meat, eat, and treat headquarters. Thank you for choosing DQ, how may I serve you? The American Made Music Festival returns to Hiawassee, Georgia, September 15th through 17th. This three-day festival features the best of country, bluegrass, and gospel music, including special guests Craig Morgan, Lone Star, Ricky Skaggs, and Kentucky Thunder, Daly and Vincent. Stars and stripes forever, America. Three-day and single-day tickets available, along with on-site camping by the lake. The American Made Music Festivals with Daly and Vincent, presented by Gus Arendale and Springer Mountain Farms. United Country Talking Rock Realty says it best. I'm happy as long as I can see Sharp Top. From the ground up, new home to complete renovation or remodel, we have combined the amazing workmanship of SGC groups, transforming the forgotten to the fabulous. Teamwork makes the dream work. For buying, selling, or flipping, call Sherry Martin at 404-375-0590 or Evelyn Calhoun at 770-733-0779. Whether you're swimming in the sea or splashing in the pool, making a masterpiece or just making memories, writing a great American novel or writing your term paper that's due tomorrow, whatever you do in life, Farmers is here to protect it. For all your insurance needs, call Donald Curtis in Blue Ridge. Georgia Medical Treatment Center now has two locations to bring you the high quality holistic care you've come to know and expect. We treat neck, back and joint pain with chiropractic care and injection based treatment without the need for surgery or prescription painkillers. Our medical weight loss program can also provide relief while ridding your body of toxins, pounds and inches while improving your overall health. Call today for a free consultation, 770-345-2000, or go online to georgiamtc.com. I said, come on, darling, take me downtown, because I want to see some of that country Blue Ridge, Georgia. High-speed Wi-Fi, 
not quite as important as running water in your home, but close. Ignite Internet from ETC powers your Wi-Fi network with consistent speeds to keep all your gadgets going strong. Streaming video players, laptops, tablets, even smartphones, so you're never stuck with those big cell data charges. And talk about value. Just pick your speed and keep the Wi-Fi flowing in your home at a great low price. Upgrade your Internet today. Call or visit etcnow.com to learn more. Take it away. Yes, I have the strangest thing I will share with you now. So, strange. So, some folks think it's strange. Strange. But I think it's as normal as all get out. You won't believe what I'm going to do when I leave here today. I'm going to Blue Ridge, Georgia, to pay for my tombstone. How creepy is that? It's not creepy. Everybody's going to, yeah, no. I know. Everybody's going to do it. It's something we're all going to do. And here's the thing. You can pick out your tombstone yourself, or you can let somebody else pick it out for you. I think I'm going to pick mine out because I, that's something I'd like to have some say in. So I'm going up there in just a little while here to pay for my tombstone. And we're working on the design, and it's, it's pretty nice. It's black. Can I say I've seen it, and it is yeah. gorgeous. It's, it is Yeah, it's gorgeous. black. It's going to have guitars on it, angle like that. Yeah. And, uh, Gorgeous, gorgeous, it's, uh, gorgeous. It's coming, folks. It's coming. Yeah. Seriously, do you want to pick out your tombstone, or would you rather somebody do it for you? Mm -hmm. So I'm picking mine out, and I'm going up there to pay for it here. I done picked it out, and I'm going to pay for it in just a few minutes. I can assure you if my children had chosen mine, there would not be a 66 Chevelle on <laughs> yeah. it. So I chose yeah. mine. I paid for mine. I did it because I wanted it to be exactly what I wanted. So, and, and today, because we did talk a little bit about Heart of the Home. I I'm gonna pick mine out because otherwise I might not have one. <laughs> oh no, how sad. I know. How sad. Yeah, I just wanna, to make sure I have one out there, I'm gonna, I'm gonna go do it today. I wanna throw something at you. There, now that, that stopped all the energy in the, <laughs> in the control room. <laughs> wanna, now they're all bummed out going, huh, what? When, when we first met, I started standing right here photographing you. And I have taken thousands, literally thousands of photographs of you and Vic and you and Bobby and you and you and you and you and you. And you. But my favorite ever is a photo of you in Morganton in the yard that we're about to do an estate sale of you with an apple tree. I don't see it, but. It is, it's not up here yet, but we're going to use it I mean, I don't the see cover. the value. I don't oh, see don't? that it's such a great picture. Oh, I if love you like it. it, I guess you I like it. I love it, and I love that apple in his hand. This is apple country, and, and Ella J is open wide for business. And I'm your apple guy. That's the apple guy. Should you call me Mr. Apples? No. No, we like Mr. No, Ella Mr. J. Mr. Ella J. Yeah. yeah, yeah, you're Mr. Ella J. Yeah. And I have to say, during break, I got to change. I finally earned a Mr. Ella J shirt. I had to do three quarters of the show and talk about his music. I, that was my pay for getting this shirt, so I got me a shirt. Yeah. Yeah, and I love this. I love this. And, On the and back of this one, it says, how do you like them apples? And can we get a, somebody to come out and get a shot of this? No, it's on this shirt? camera right oh, here. Oh, is it's it? On okay, this one. okay. Yeah, I think. All right. Isn't it? I don't know. But I if we can get is. a shot of that shirt, and will you hand me those pear preserves? Because I promised these little old ladies that love to watch Heart of the Home that I will explain this. This is my granny's pear preserve oh, not recipe. The pear preserve recipe is you just cut your pears T90, you put a layer of pears, layer of sugar, layer of pears, layer of sugar, put them in your fridge, let them sit 24 hours, then you cook them suckers to death. I put allspice and I use Hans Rufert sugar baby. And the sugar baby is what can you get that shirt? Yeah, is it going down to the t-shirt and read that? Yeah, yeah, there you go. So, yeah, it needs to be a little bit brighter. These are pears, not to be confused with apples, but the pears are rare and hard to find. Ella J is full. Who found them? You did. Who am I? You are Mr. Ella J. <laughs> 
man, I'm so thankful you, you for these. you got to be true. We're going to get you back in training. I, I'm so thankful <laughs> for these. Thank you. And now I want you to hand me the honey because this is what's confusing all the old ladies that I share little messages with. Okay, this is pear honey. Not to be confused with pear preserves or pear relish. This is pear honey. And it is made by using, you're, you are totally responsible for this because when I was a kid at 17 years old, Nana Baker taught me to make pear honey. I forgot all about it until you asked me what I was doing with the cores and with the peelings. And yeah. so oh, I is. went back, there you How go. How do you like them apples? That's on the back of the shirt. That's right. The back of the shirt is too cool, too cool. But that is pear honey. And you are totally responsible for that. So thank you very much for reminding me why I did it. Only if it's good. Yes, it's good. If it's really, really good, then I'm responsible. Yes. But if you don't like it, she did it. <laughs> That's right. It's my fault. It's my fault. Okay. Well, I want to share, um, you know, we did the Beatles song. Love that. But you did a Hank Sr. song. A that rare, old Hank Sr. song. Old, old. Yeah. And I'd never heard it. Oh, no, it's rare. I'd never heard it. I go real deep with Hank Williams. I got, I think I have absolutely everything he ever recorded. Well, right including now. Including radio stuff mm -hmm. and just sitting around with an acoustic guitar, exactly like I was doing yesterday or whenever that was. Day before. Yeah. Yep, yep. And, uh, and yeah, he, he's got a lot of songs, Hank Williams does. And this was done where? 57 Heaven. 57 Heaven. Home where? of the 390 GT. And the? Uh, high performance. And the? 66 Chevelle Super Sport 375 Big Block. Yes. Four Bolt Main, folks. Yes. Ask me how I found that, I stumbled across it. <laughs> yes, yeah. he did. My good friend Glenn Arnold put me in the right direction on that. There you go. There you go. All right, we're going to go to a song. Dwight, what year do you think Hank Sr. did this song? It was early on. It was probably... The 40s? Yeah, I'd say 48, right in there somewhere. Yep. No, 49-ish. So, yeah. So throwing it back has a whole new meaning today. We're going to throw it back to about You know, I should bring my flower that I, take, that I took off of his grave in 1979. I should bring that and have it on the show. Yes, you should. I will do that. There you in go. In case I were to ever get invited back here again. <laughs> he might Stranger things back. have happened. <laughs> You might get money back. So you don't give up. <laughs> All right. Here we go to a, an old Hank Sr. song, and it is done by Mr. Ella J in 57 Heaven. Traveling down a lonely highway, I knew not. Not build my way. 
Yes, thy burdens are greater than mine. Yay! Yay! How cool is that? What is that? What is that? Am I landing a 747 jet? No, it's just me. Oh, oh. How cool is that? You're coordinated, aren't you? I couldn't even do that. <laughs> You're too cool. Yeah. Okay, you got to witness Heart of the Home. Without Fred Wyndham, my amazing director from Atlanta that took me to places I never dreamed I would go, without Lucy Van Doren, without Doreen Lee, without Leela Gilreath, without Laura Gilreath, without Dimple Smith, without Loretta Brackett's amazing chocolate cake, I would not have done nine years of cooking shows and television. I could never have done it. I could not have created all that we did because it was magical television. We are going back to producing Heart of the Home and you are a big part of why when I saw your cooker thing, I absolutely was mesmerized. And it's I have more wheels. Out of wheels. We could make another one. I want one. But this one I've asked you, can you put a grate in the middle so you can like put potatoes on it or you know We could study about something like that. I think that would be really, really cool because it truly is two wheels welding and welded together uh, but to the back at the back sides. And it gives you your your, dra your drawing, you, the fire can draw well, and it's got a little heater, a uh, door, we cut a door out, and it's a, it's a good little rig. It is amazing, it is yeah. amazing, and I don't know who, who, who dreamed it up. Is it dream or What do you dreamt? mean you don't know who dreamed it up? <laughs> what How is could it, Mr. L and J? Absolutely. <laughs> Yeah. Don't you just love the things yeah. that he can come up with? I'm creative. Yes, you are creative. That is beyond that is beyond yes. a true statement. So y'all, we're gonna get a new Heart of the Home. We'll be airing here on ETC in the very, very near future, the finished product. Neither one of us have seen the finished product because it is not finished yet. The man in there, he's still working he's on He's still it. working, but we are beyond excited to share this with you and it truly, I'm going to name the things I cooked that night. Halibut, wings, and thanks to Wilkes Market down in Ball Ground, wings, and I did a blackberry sauce on them, which was fantastic. Added a little bit of sugar, and then sweet potatoes, and fried turnips, and collard greens, and pinto beans, and coleslaw, and did you like my slaw? I do. And what else was it? I was a little bit worried about the slaw because you're asking me. You don't like um, sugar in anything. No, so people I, don't load your slaw up I with put, sugar. I put salt and pepper and a little bit of mayo, and that was it. And some sweet pickles. Yes. And you remember the old people when they'd make slaw way back in the day? They put tomatoes in it. Yes. They cut yes, up tomatoes and yes, put it. That's that so was good. good. That's so good. But everything that we cooked was simple and it was a fall vegetable that you can readily get at the market. So go out to RNA Orchards, go over to Panorama, go over to all of the orchards around here and pick up the bounty from the fall and put it in your kitchen and cook it. Yes. You know? Yes. I cooked rutabagas. Did you know that? I did know that. I, I ate cooked them. rutabagas, yeah. And I fried turnips and I fried halibut. Now, I wish I had a photo of the moment he took a bite of halibut. <laughs> that halibut was good. <laughs> halibut was My good. lady Astrid down in Florida, she brings me, uh, when she comes up, she brings me uh, red snapper. That stuff's good too. But the halibut's right in there with it. Astrid, if you're watching. <laughs> yeah, the it's halibut. Good. It's the good. The halibut's Does, uh, She can answer this question too. Uh, does uh, does halibut? They don't. Does it not grow in Florida? No, no. not even. No, no. The cold. It's waters only of up Alaska. there in Alaska. The cold. Yeah, from one of extreme Alaska. to another. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. That is weird. Yeah, from one <coughs> extreme to the other because little you Astrid grows uh, pineapples in her backyard, bananas. When she comes, she brings me red snapper, bananas, and pineapples that she grew in her yard, that except for that cool. red snapper, and it grows out in the ocean, which is also her yard. <laughs> That's right, that's right. <laughs> well, we're so glad that y'all tuned in today. And, uh, you know, Heart of the Home is going to be back, and it is going to be a lot of fun, and we hope that you will tune in. It will be here on ETC, and we will be sharing just a couple of programs a month, but it's going to be fun. And that's, you've, you've taught me something. We're going to have some fun, and we are going to get some things done. We've proven that.
We've been getting a little bit done. A little bit? Are you yeah. kidding me? I mean, We're myself. To death. Yeah. I got a 390 and a C6 <laughs> and a 574 yes, the other do. day. Can you tell folks bye? Yep. Folks, we thank you for watching. Have fun. Get things done. You can do both. And thanks for tuning in. We had a good time. We had a good show. And remember, folks, it is what it is. Plumb up until you change it. That's right. That's right. What a good saying. How smart are you, creative man? I built the cookie thing with the truck wheels. <laughs> we'll see you again. That's how smart I am. You are smart. Only on e